So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how it all works right now. Um, like I said, no judgments because we're, as parents, we have to do what we have to do with our own children. And some aspects of parenting is dirty, not fun. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to wear diapers? You don't have to wear diapers anymore. Because you're such a big girl. You don't pee in a diaper anymore. What makes you a big girl? You go to the... Potty. You go to the potty. So proud of you. Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. So this is a this video is long overdue. I had mentioned many a times that I'm gonna be showing you how I potty train Zoe in 24 hours or potty train during a day, whichever one you want to call it, because it's the same thing. <laughs> um and I don't know what happened. It just kept slipping and slipping and now we're here. She's three years old now. So she's been potty trained since like two of the early parts of when she was two and a half. Um, and I'm going to def I'm going to share with you guys today all the things, the tips and tricks that I use to help potty train her in a day, as well as show you all the tools that I use to help make the process go smoothly. Well, as smooth as it could have gone anyway. So I want to start off by saying first things first, um, you guys already know that I'm the mom of five, so this, I'm not new to potty training. My baby obviously isn't potty trained yet, but I have three older girls who I end up who I had to potty train, and I definitely had learned some things. And so when I got to Zoe, I was trying to apply those same methods. One thing to know is that if you potty train your, them too early, um, they can always they can revert, and that happened to me with my first child. Anyways, with potty training Zoe. I kind of held off a little bit. I didn't jump in there to try to potty train her as early, but she definitely gave me all the signs that she was ready to potty train. I started off by give, using those training diapers and I don't know, for some reason, I, I've had experiences with these before and I thought it was going to be different, but the training diapers were not... I don't find them, well, I, I think they're a great aid, but they're not conducive to tr to helping your kid potty train, like, you know, sooner than later. So I went ahead and invested in the training diapers thinking it was going to be, uh, you know, easy and she was just going to learn really fast and grasp it all. But boy, was I wrong. One thing I did find with training diapers is that, especially from my perspective, being a stay at home mom, I'm here all the time. And so you know, I do want, I do try to make the environment easy and accessible to like running to the potty and all that kind of stuff. One thing I found is that the training diapers still kind of enabled her to pee in them. And that is not what we want when we're trying to potty train in a day. Mind you, when I started out to potty train, that was not my goal. My, my goal was to potty train her as fast as I could, but at her own speed, not like trying to rush it all. Anyways, um, upon purchasing like my fourth package of training diapers, I kind of had a reality check. I'm like, what am I doing? Actually, it wasn't even a package. It was like a whole box. I decided to buy a box because I saw how fast I was going through them. And I was like, this is not the point of this. So even though I still had like, I, I was using them and then I... Honestly, after getting through the first package, so if you know when you buy them in bulk, you get like two different packages inside. I got through like the first half of the first package and then I was like, okay, I need to stop. Like this is ridiculous. So you know what? I basically did that. But before doing it, I kind of had to process the ideas of what I was planning on doing. First thing was first, I ordered her some training diapers from Amazon. I actually had a hard time finding them in like a little kid size. Then I also found a few at Carter's. I basically had like 20 um, underwears for her to... Um, changed because you know accidents will happen. And then I also went out and got her a training seat. This is like obviously it's kind of boy. It, it's not boyish. It's Paw Patrol. So it's blue and red. 
it might look more boyish according to most but this is what she liked and that's um yeah so that's what we got your girl didn't have to buy a potty because this potty we already had this potty has been in our family for a very long time i bought it at ikea it was 2.99 if you guys know how much these are there leave a comment down below because i don't know if they're any longer 2.99 but that's what we bought it for so i basically had that and then I had the potty. Um, this came in handy for two things, but we're still focusing on just even potty training inside the house. So this came in handy. You already know what that is. It fits perfectly on the seat, so it gives them a place. It makes them sit comfortably on the seat. And right away, we kind of we kind of avoid any like. Uh, any negative feelings that they develop around about the potty if they can't fit comfortably on it you know that could pose as a problem and just because they're kids and trust me we don't understand all that <laughs> they think or feel and just the simplest of things can affect them the purpose for this potty was to have at hand like near in a corner somewhere that if she couldn't make it to the potty we had it there but nine out of ten times she got that down really quickly and we didn't have to worry so much about this anymore we actually just transferred this into the vehicle and i'll talk a little bit more about that once she got that down pat and she could make it to the potty on time she was obviously getting accustomed to the the uh, the feel for going to the washroom and understanding her body and um, then she could actually also tell us training her how to, to let us know when she needs to go was another thing just letting her know you have to let us know when you need to go to the potty do you need to go pee do you need to go pee and be on her like all the time about it and yeah, I, she grasped it really fast. It wasn't anything that we really had to drill home. So she got that concept down really quickly. When she needed to go, she started telling us and she liked the big girl underwear. So that was like a nice incentive. She did have a few accidents here and there, but it wasn't, it was far and few in between because she didn't like the feeling of the wetness. And I think there was a point in there too where even though she didn't like the feeling of the wetness, I was like jumping the gun and changing her out of the underwear in like a second because I'm just that mom. Like it's a struggle for me too. However, I learned real fast and instead of just taking it off right away, I would let her stand in it for maybe a, two min a minute or two, maybe a little bit longer, maybe five minutes or so just to let her know, well, no, if you don't like it wet, you shouldn't pee in it. That's what's going to happen. And the uncomfortableness of that, I think, kind of just got to her real quick. Like she learned, oh, well, if I don't like this, I shouldn't pee myself. And she figured it out real quick. Pretty much throughout, it was like one day of like doing that, that we focused on it really really hard and she grasped it like she understood next step the next step is taking your kids in the car but before i say anything i want to say for me when i was training my child at home because i was at home and also because it was like covid that because of all that's going on right now in our world i didn't have anywhere to go so it wasn't a big deal for me she trained like i was planning on like thinking it's going to take a week or so it literally took the one day where she grasped it i'm not saying no accidents happened here or there casually after because there's a stage that kids go through that's so funny where they get busy doing playing with their toys or doing things and they just don't want to spare the time to go to the potty and they wait till it's too late so there are those kind of things that we have to learn through too like it's not like oh my gosh a smooth sailing but when i say she learned she learned and accidents really didn't happen in between maybe once or twice so guys so when we finally decided to go out what we traveled with is this i have always been that mom i'm not too i'm not a, the biggest fan of my kids having to use the poor um public potties especially when they're so young it's gross because they're just little and i feel like they're hanging all over it and it's just just not my thing um I'm not judging anyone who does what they do, but that's just my thing. So I, from my eldest until now, I've always traveled with our portable potty in the vehicle that they could use to pee in real quick. I'm gonna explain exactly how we use this to just potty train on the go. For starters, if you wanna have your child potty on the go in the vehicle, there are a number of things that you need. Number one, the potty. Number two, a Ziploc bag with uh, toilet paper. Maybe an extra Ziploc bag to discard just like the paper that you use to wipe your child with. So you need that. 
Uh, wipes is usually the thing of choice, my thing of choice at times. You never know if you might need wipes, so I always have wipes on hand. <laughs> Are you okay? Did I frighten you? Yeah, someone wanted to join us. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and share you exactly how it all works right now. Um, like I said, no judgments because we're, as parents, we have to do what we have to do with our own children. And some aspects of parenting is dirty, not fun. So anyways, um, when we're traveling in the vehicle, the potty is there and honestly with the little kids I find that their bladders are, their bladders are not that developed so they always want to pee at all the, the craziest of times um, you left home and you may have, they may have peed and then you get somewhere and then they need to go again and usually just uh, either bring it home throw it in a toilet or throw it you know somewhere it's just urine, it's like diluted water, it's literally water, Come, especially when it's kids urine, so it's not a big deal. Then I usually grab a wipe and my sanitizer, spritz down the toilet and disinfect it, that way it's kept in the car and it's clean every time. Um, if by chance she has to do a number two in the vehicle, which is not the funnest of uh, things, um, in fact, it's, most of the times it's never her saying, oh, I need to, I need to go number two. It's just like, oh, I have to use the potty really quickly. And you think it's going to be P and it ends up being number two. That's happened very, very, very few times in the vehicle, but it's the same kind of concept. It's, you basically, for that, for that, you usually have to carry it home with you unless there are other ways to take care of that. It, can probably get messy if you have to travel with it home it's not the pleasant of smells <laughs> but you know you just make you just make a um, joke of it it's much better than your kid having an accident and pooping their own their whole selves I've never had that happen and thank God and it's also honestly for us for hubby and I are based we're on the same page it would be different too for me I guess I'd feel entirely crazy if I, if I was alone with this but he's a, he feels the exact same way in terms of not wanting our kids all over the public toilets when they're just that little so yeah it's just been very convenient um and like i said this potty that potty costed two two ninety nine and it gets washed washed down disinfected and just yeah it's just simple and easy to travel with it's not doesn't have multiple parts it's just one piece of equipment but it is a lifesaver when we're out there so yeah guys that's pretty much it overall like the pot potty training went really well it went really smoothly i have to say one thing one key thing too with also like leaving the house is always ensuring that your kid use the potty before they leave the house always ask and always let them try because then most of the times you won't have to use it out there but it's there when you do have it with you uh there have been a couple of times too when we brought the potty in just to give it a wash down and stuff like that and we've left it inside the house and didn't exactly bring it back to the car and then when she needed to go it was like an emergency and that's never any fun because then you have to then she has to go use the washroom in public if you don't have a choice or have to rush back home and like I said when they are ready to go when kids are ready to go they have to go like immediately they're like I have to go pee and it's just like instant so that's basically what I've done um, this time around uh, like I said if I were to give any advice it would be to just honestly I would skip the training diapers because I just didn't find them to be helpful they they just kind of allowed for my child to keep using it because she knew that she could the training diapers didn't make them feel wet it helped to feel keep them dry kind of like diapers so it was defeating the purpose of what I was trying to do once I got rid of it it the rest was history I think there you know there's has to be some consequence I guess in the process and the consequence for the child when they are wearing an underwear is that it will get wet and it the feeling of you being soaked like that is not comfortable it's not like you just came from sw swimming you know you peed yourself and they know and there's I think there's a little shame in that and they don't like it and they learn from that because that's how we grow and yeah they and that's what we did and it worked really really quickly so that is my advice to you I hope you guys found this video to be helpful sorry it was so delayed and um, yeah if you guys have any more video requests based on certain things that you see within my family or 
or uh, questions that you want me to make videos on and stuff like that definitely leave a comment down below uh, and like today's video as well as share it and until next time guys much love bye y'all